In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to resize terminal, but how about finding out what size it is currently? Uh, now, if you're familiar with the basics of Bash, you know that uh, variables start with a dollar sign, and there are a bunch of system terminals, uh, terminals, variables that are already set, uh, and usually they're full uh, case um, commands. That's why you're not supposed to, when you're creating variables, it's, it's bad practice to make them fully capitals because they are case sensitive because usually system variables are that and you don't want to overwrite some system variables but if I type in dollar sign here and I double tap tab it gives me it auto completes for me and shows me a bunch of the uh, variables that are available on my system one right here you can see is called columns and another one is called lines and that is the size of the terminal that I'm working in if I hit Q here to get out of that and I'll type clear to clear the screen I can now echo out those variables. So I can echo out uh, columns. Uh, did I type it wrong? Oh, yes, I did. Forgotten N. There we go. So we have 92 columns. And if I do lines, I got 23 lines just about what I figure out in the previous tutorial when I was resizing it. I think I had uh, 23 and 93 is what I had. Um, and of course, just like any other echo command, we can type out a full sentence here. We can say uh, X and then we can say lines. So we I get an output, nice little, it's 92 by 23. And remember, these aren't uh, pixels these are columns and lines so they're not going to be equal so if you type in uh, 25 by 25 when you're resizing which we'll do right here resize dash s and if I do uh, 25 25 you can see it doesn't give you a square and the reason for that is that uh, obviously since it's taller the lines are bigger than the columns um, but since we knew, we know that uh, from our output before that we were doing 29 by 23, we can just type in, uh, not 29, 92 by 23, and I type that backwards. <laughs> so I got a real long box here. Uh, uh, 92, there we go. Get it back on the screen here. I put it back to its original size. So that is how, a little review on how to resize and also showing you how to find out the current size. Um, one of the things you could do with this is if your program, your script, requires terminal to be at least a certain size, otherwise it may not display properly, you can do a check if columns does not equal 92, you know, is not greater than 92, then you can either have it resize or ask the user to resize. So that is where this comes in handy. Uh, and that's just, you know, formatting if your program goes really wide or really tall, you can resize the, the terminal or uh, give an error output saying your terminal is not big enough to run this program. And there are programs out there to do that because to display properly, to display all their information, the terminal has to be a certain size. So, quick review to resize terminal, resize dash S and then your your lines and columns and uh, to find out what your terminal is at you can just echo out the system variables for columns and lines whoops don't forget the dollar sign there and of course actually it'd probably be better if you did it the other way around since that's the way the resize command works it takes in lines and columns 23 by 92. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this or filmsbychris.com for a bunch of stuff, open source, both uh, terminal and program related, all the way up to uh, video effects and game programming. Uh, have a great day.